Hey guys, welcome back to another Monday with Deco Art. And today we are going to work on painting a glass. This is something I actually haven't done in a long time. Um, Deco Art sent me a set of their glass paint markers um, when I let them know that I was working on the canvas that we were working on, and they sent me one of every color. Yay! Um, and I like them so much when I was working on the canvas, I thought I'd actually try to paint on glass with them, which is what they're intended for. They are a glass paint marker. Most of the colors are translucent and not opaque. Um, there are a few exceptions to that as I'm using them. I'm finding that out. I don't know that they actually say on here if they're translucent or not. I don't think so. They probably did on the wrapper, but I took all the wrappers off. Anyway, my husband had a glass this shape um, that he used to like to drink his wine out of, you know, at Sunday dinner. And we had a mishap with the dishwasher and anyway, his glass broke. I was at the dollar store um, yesterday and I saw this glass. It was the last one on the shelf and it's the exact same shape as the one that he loved. So I thought I would buy it and try my hand at painting a new glass for him. One of the things he liked about the old one that it was that it had his name on it. And it was advertising for a winery or something, but it happened to have Bob on it. Um, so I thought, of course, I will put his name on it, but he's a Freemason. So I thought I'd also put the Masonic logo on one side of the glass. So I took some computer paper and I printed his name in a size and font that I thought would work well on the glass. And I also printed a copy of the Masonic logo and I cut them out and I taped them to the inside of the glass. And then I cleaned the glass with some rubbing alcohol here, which I have here in this push bottle, which I got on Amazon, by the way, um, and let it dry. And then I start to, started using the printed um, image on the inside of the glass as my guide of what to draw and where to draw it. I started out by masking out the straight lines on the square and compass with painter's tape and that was just more trouble than it was worth so we're not going to continue to do that. We're going to just freehand it because it's way easier. So I got one coat on here with the image on here. Now I'm to the point where I want to put another coat and outline some things, add some detail, but the image is distracting so I'm going to actually pull it off. I just have it scotch taped here on the inside. See, that's what it looks like. That's going to bug me, so let's get that piece of tape off of there. There we go. Right, so that's what we have left. I'm going to actually, oops. There we go. I'm going to. I'm going to put this piece of paper towel in here because it'll give me a white background and I'll be able to really, there we go, clearly see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to go back with my blue pen and as you can see we need to, uh, this has dried for a little bit and I need to not only firm up my edges but add another layer of paint and I really should have my reading glasses on, hang on. Alrighty, that's a little bit better. I picked the copy of the Masonic logo that I did because it's not super detailed and um, I didn't necessarily want a copy of it that was super detailed. Now I know Deco Art does also make um, glass paints. So you could get their glass paints and do this with a brush. That works. 
I also know from making a couple of boo-boos that I can put some out rubbing alcohol here on a Q-tip and wipe off the glass paint if I get some in the wrong spot. So one of the things I want to do is I want to outline the compass here. And I'm just touching it kind of lightly over where the blue paint is already on here and kind of dry because it seems to be wanting to pull the blue paint up, so we don't want that. That's not bad. Because the blue paint's not really baked on here or anything, you know, so it's just literally sitting on the surface. And again, I don't think I want to give this too much detail, but I do want to give it a little bit. I see a boo-boo, so I'm going to show you how I fix that. So I'm just going to, as you push down on this bottle, it brings up some of that alcohol that's inside. And I have some now on the tip of my Q-tip. And I'm going to just run it here. There we go, and wipe that right off. better. Okay. So I am noticing after you have one layer on there, instead of trying to draw on top of that layer, because although it's dry, it's not baked in, if you just tap the paint pen to lay some of the ink or paint on your image, that seems to work better. It doesn't move the paint around. That's pretty good. So let's outside, outline the square. So this top part is a compass, you know, in math class you would have the pencil on one side and the pointy thing on the other, and you would just, you know, make circles with it. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I remember about algebra class with the compass. And this bottom part is a square. Carpenters, you carpenters out there know what a square is. And the G in the middle does not stand for Gina. <laughs> Somebody asked me that. It stands for God. <laughs> I would like to think it stands for Tina, but it doesn't. Somebody asked me that one day because they looked at the tattoo on his arm and they thought the G stood for Gina. I corrected them. Now, as you can see, the gold is very opaque. Unlike the blue, which is, gonna, I think, going to bake very translucent. But I think the contrast between the two will be interesting. It's pretty good. Once you get this all painted, you have to let it dry for eight hours, and then you have to bake it per the directions on the glass paint pen package. So I just hope the glass 
makes it through the baking process because I did buy it at the dollar store, but I think it's pretty heavy duty glassware. It seems to be pretty thick and unlike some of the glasses that you buy at the dollar store. That's pretty good. So you're supposed to bake it at 375 for 40 minutes. Okay, so let's do the same thing down here and let's just touch up some of the areas by giving them a little tap with the blue pen. I didn't miss any spots. That's pretty good. I want to um, do a little work on the G in the center without sticking my hand in anything, if I can manage that. That's pretty good. That's better. I just wanted to straighten it up. Once it's baked, it's on there, so... to put some, if we can get some blue on here, yep, yep, I like that, that looks good. I want to also put my gold. I like that. All right. Let's do his name on the other side. He's the one who picked the colors. Um, so we're going to do his name in white. Now, to get started, I cleaned the surface with... Um, the rubbing alcohol and to do this is going to be tricky because I've got wet paint on the other side so I need to try to do more holding it up and writing I don't want to rest it on the table and rub any of that other paint off and I can put my hand on the glass as long as it's not in a spot where I need to put the glass paint pen you don't want your fingerprints or oils underneath where you're going to be drawing or painting because then the paint maybe won't stick. And of course I could freehand his name but I just thought I always think it's nice to have a guide in a project like this for spacing and maybe if you want to try um, you know a different font something that looks different than your handwriting Okay, so just like the other side, I'm going to give it one coat. And then we're going to pull the paper off. And this is just a guide, so you know if you end up changing the shape a little bit, there, that's not a crime. This is a guide. Okay. So let's cap the pen and let's see if I can get my fat hand in here. Pull the paper off. Oops. Looks pretty good. So let's get back in here with the white pen and let's make sure that we have our decent coverage on the color. And that we have our letters nicely shaped. Uh, 
Okay, so now I want to go in with the gold pen again. And I'm going to outline those letters with the gold. It's not good to pick a day when you've had three cups of coffee to do this, I don't think. My O's a little funky. Okay, that's not bad, but I need to fix some of those letters a little bit, so let's get that white pen back out. Because, like, this O has got some funny spots. better. Got to fix the B too. Now of course until it's dry completely you probably could get in here if you did a really bad job with the alcohol and just wipe the whole thing off if you really are unhappy with your first try. I don't know that I'm that unhappy with it so we're gonna just go with it. Just keep working at it and switching back and forth between your pens until you get it looking the way you want. Okay, that's pretty good. Now it's going to dry for eight hours before we can bake it in the oven. So I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to bake it and I'll be back. Okay, before we come back with the glass for my husband, I also want to doodle on a coffee cup. 
Um, so, and then this one, I'm just going to freeform it. This is a white ceramic cup, again, from the dollar store. You could use one that you already have in your stash, or you could um, use one from the thrift shop. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to, yeah, I think I'm going to just doodle on it. I think I'm going to use one of my paintings that's behind me for inspiration. And again, if you get a line on here that you don't like, you can just use the alcohol to take it off. I'm using that I have painting that's behind me for inspiration. I'm going to actually turn my chair a little bit so that I can see the painting. It's one that I did as part of um, Life Book this year, 2015. Basically, I'm just making doodles. Doing a plate would be easier, something flat.
have some other colors here. Make sure they're all started. Oh, the blue one is. I don't know about the green. Oh yeah. Let's start with the pink. And just keep doodling until you feel like you're done. I'm going to keep doing that. I'll be right back.
here's a coffee cup. It's got to sit for about eight hours and then it can be baked in the oven and then we're good to go. So we're going to do that and we'll see how it comes out when we're all done. I'll be back. Okay guys, here are we are. Here we are with all the glasses that I uh, painted. Uh, I did two coffee cups. Here's one of them. They've all been dried and baked and everything. Here's another. I did a clear, clear glass coffee cup just with the white. And then here's the glass for my husband. So I did all of these using the same DecoArt uh, glass paint markers. Um, they come in a variety of colors. I mostly used um, white, gold, black, um, citron, yellow, fuchsia, turquoise, and purple. Oh, I'm sorry, violet. Um, on my husband's glass, I also used the blue. Um, but they also come in green, orange, red, brown, silver, and then I have an extra black and white. Um, they were really easy to use. Um, once you're done with your drawing, you need to let the glass dry for a minimum of eight hours. I just left them overnight. Then you need to put the glassware on a cookie sheet in your oven, then close the oven door, then turn the oven on to 375. When it comes up to temperature, if you have an oven like mine, I get a beep when that happens. Then you set your timer for 40 minutes. And when the 40 minutes is up, turn your oven off, crack the door open, leave the glassware in the oven until everything cools off and comes back to room temperature. And then give them a rinse and, uh, with um, some warm soapy water and a soft cloth or sponge. Nothing too scratchy. And you're good to go. Now you need to do the baking steps that way because you don't want to shock the ceramic or glassware by putting a cold item into a hot oven. You'll crack the glassware. Um, so you want to make sure you bring it to temperature like the, with the oven all at the same time, slowly. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy this uh, De Monday with DecoArt and have a lot of fun with it. These paint pens, I can already tell you, are going to be a lot of fun. Totally easy to use, especially if you want to do a doodle cup like this one. Very, very easy. These were a lot of fun. I did these when I was on the phone um, in a Google Hangout with Ann uh, Williamson and Mr. Victor Crafter. The other day I did this one. Um, so you can get these pens from decoart.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. They also, I'm sure, I know have a list of retailers. You can look and see if there's somebody locally that carries them. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, my information's in the description below, along with the link to my new Facebook group. If you'd like to join, you can click on that and request to join. If you have a product you'd like to review, uh, my mailing, my P.O. Box address is in the description below. You can send that to me. I'm happy to do that. And uh, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.